This might look like your parents' old Bible case, but it's actually everything you need for your live worship key sounds running on iPad. Recently, I saw a post from somebody in our Facebook group for Sunday Keys users. Shout out to Gary. He found this case on Amazon and said that he managed to fit everything for his iPad Sunday Keys rig in this case alone. I thought that was super compelling and I wanted to see if I could replicate it. So we bought one on Amazon and turns out you can absolutely fit all of the stuff you need to have for your live keys rig in this single case. It feels really slick, everything's well protected, and of course, it's super portable. So no matter where you need to go, your keys rig goes with you. All right, let's open up the bag and I'll show you everything we've got inside. Like I said, this bag is about $20 on Amazon. There's a few different colors available if you care about that sort of thing. And there's two different zippered compartments. This first compartment is where I have the bigger pieces of the rig. So I have a USB audio interface. This is the PreSonus audio box. One of the interfaces that we recommend, really affordable. I have a basic iPad stand here that folds down really nicely. I love this stand because it has a telescoping arm with an adjustable height. And if you have a tabletop keyboard stand at church, you can actually snug this up underneath the keyboard and get the iPad to hover wherever you would like. And of course, it's really compact, which makes it a perfect fit for a solution like this. And then here, of course, I have my iPad. This is an iPad Air with an Apple Silicon chip inside. This is the exact same chip that goes in Mac computers. It is very fast and super powerful, more than up to the task of running all of your live keys sounds. The iPad Air is a great option if you're looking to buy a brand new iPad, and we highly recommend that you consider it because it's gonna be future-proof for a very long time. Put a link in the description to the newest model of iPad Air if you'd like to check that out for yourself. All right, so that's it for this side of the bag. Let's go ahead and open the other side. On this side of the bag is where I have all my cables and the USB hub that power the iPad rig. I'm gonna open everything up and walk you through how it works step by step. The most important piece for an iPad-based keys rig is a USB hub that powers the iPad and that connects all of your hardware. I'm a big fan of this Anchor-powered USB hub. It gives you four USB-A ports, connects to the iPad directly over USB-C, and this cable is the power supply that is included. So you plug that into the wall and everything has plenty of power. This is my favorite USB hub for iPad-based rigs. So next up, I have a couple of different cables that connect my audio interface and my MIDI controller. These are USB-A to USB Type-B cables. So one goes into my MIDI controller at church and the other goes straight into the audio interface. And this case is awesome because it keeps all of those cables separate from each other when you're in transit. And then when you get to church, they are ready to go. Last cable here is a simple USB-C extender cable. I love this anchor hub. The only downside is the USB-C cable itself is quite short and I wanna have more flexibility when it comes time to wire up all my cables. So this adapter just gives me an extra foot and a half or so of length so I can put this hub where I want it not be limited by that short cable. Couple things left to go and then we are set. I've got my in-ears right here. Trusty breath mints for that morning coffee breath. And that is it for my core keys rig when I'm gonna be using an iPad live. The only couple things left you see in this bag are backups and I'll explain what those are for very quickly here. First up, I have this Mio USB to MIDI adapter. This is a backup in case the USB jack on the back of my keyboard ever fails. It's USB-A on one side, this connects to my USB hub, and the other side is MIDI. Maybe if I'm showing up to a place I've never played and I don't know what keyboard I'm going to need to plug into, I am very confident it's gonna have at least a MIDI port. So this covers those cases where a keyboard isn't capable of sending over USB, or maybe the USB jack isn't working on the back of the keyboard. I'm always gonna be covered with the Mio. Last thing in the bag, and it's so small you might not have even noticed it, is this little guy. This is a USB to headphone adapter. You might have noticed your iPad does not have a headphone jack if it's one of the newer models. This adapter lets me monitor myself with headphones if I'm in a coffee shop or if I'm on my way to church and I just wanna make sure my key sounds are ready to go. So I would just plug the hub into the iPad and plug this right in and then be able to connect a pair of headphones. Now I also like having this in the bag for a second reason. If my audio interface ever disappears or stops working, I can plug this into the hub and then using a cable like this one, 
I can actually break out that headphone jack signal into a pair of quarter inch outputs and connect this to the sound system. So it serves as my backup in case my audio interface ever fails as well. This is only a few bucks on Amazon and I think I get a lot of value in a couple different ways from this simple adapter. The Sunday Keys app for iPad is what makes a portable keys rig like this possible. So we'll put a link in the description if you'd like to learn more about Sunday Keys and find out what a difference it can make for your church worship team. We'll also put links in the description to all of the recommended gear from this video, the audio interface, the cables, the keyboard stand, this anchor hub, and especially this awesome organizational travel case. Thanks again to Gary from the Facebook group for bringing it to our attention. It was a lot of fun to put together this really portable rig. I'm excited to take it to church the next time I need to play. Okay, now there's one extra bonus feature of this case that we wanted to save for the very end of this video. When I opened the package from Amazon, I was greeted with this little gift card holder type thing. I thought it was one of those, please rate us five stars on Amazon sort of deals but I was surprised and delighted when I opened it up and found something entirely unexpected. Turns out that the makers of this case, whose name I do not know, I apologize, have thought of everything and included some helpful little note cards for special occasions. My best friend, my love is just for you. Dad, no matter how much time passes, you will always be my hero. Touching. Best wishes to you, a little cold. Mom, you're going to be an amazing mother. You aren't yet, but someday. And then of course, wishing you peace, love, and joy this Christmas. So not only is this case a great value and organizational tool, but you're also covered for your next five or six major holidays. 